Hello everyone, my name is Anuj. I'm a third year MBBS student at GMC Nagpur. Welcome back to my channel. And this is exactly what we're going to explore in today's video. GMC Nagpur. That's right. This is a tour of GMC Nagpur. Let's go. GMC Nagpur is one of the biggest college that we have in all of Central India, and I'm so proud that I'm a student of this college. However, it is impossible to cover the entire surface area of GMC in a single video. So, in this video, I'll be taking you on an academic tour of all the different places the first year students interact with the most. Hello everyone, so we are here in the Anatomy Museum. Actually, this was the very old museum which was established in GMC all the way back in 1952. So this is like one of the first museums along with Community Medicine, Anatomy and Pathology were the first three museums to be established in our institution. And in here we've got the different cross sections of the different different slices of the human body. Uh, sort of like the, that we see in the CT scan or the MRI machines. And we have got the different models for embryology. So this is the exact place where we had our classes for embryology and for you know cross-sectional anatomy. Sometimes also for radiology so this is a very historic place and it does again bring back a lot of memories so in here we have got the different cross sections on my right and the left you can see that we have different organs and we study these to basically know what are the relations of the organs anteroposteriorly and laterally and medially and also to know a little bit more about the surgical anatomy here we have the different sections of the brain here in first year you learn about anatomy and you learn about embryology these are actually kept for your vivas and they ask you explain what does that specimen mean so for example something like this they can ask you uh, what is this what week is it in and how do you identify the different parts of it This is the first place that I sat when I came here at GMC Nagpur and this is the anatomy lecture hall and this was the exact location uh, where I spent my first day uh, in the college campus. That's Abhijit. It is uh, really you know uh, emotional for me because exactly in about 9 or 10 months I will probably have to leave this classroom once and for all. Um, <laughs> And this was like three years ago. This was anatomy lecture hall. Here we got classes of anatomy, histology, embryology, sometimes also physiology and biochemistry. So that's it. We've got the projector over there and the blackboard screen. Hello everyone, welcome to the histology lab. This is the place where we study the tissues. Traditionally, what we used to have over here, all the microscopes ranging from there to there, but since nobody's here, so they have been kept away. But there is this one which is kept over here. My position was always this one. I used to sit at this point, this was roll number one, so that was mine. And this is the microscope. Um, you learned how to use the microscope, how to focus the microscope in the very first day, the first class of histology. And of course, this is something which is going to be very useful for you in literally the entire part of your life. This microscope is a single eyepiece microscope, so we need to close one eye to look into it. In pathology, we have binocular microscopes where you can look into the microscope using two eyes. Class 11th, you read a lot about tissues in the chapter of animal tissues. And here you can see epithelial, you have connective tissue, cartilage. And if you go on over here, you will find different organs and organ systems. So we have bone, muscle tissue, gland, etc. We have got the entire digestive tract system over here. Similarly, the same for RS and literally we can go on all the place over there. There is also a projector placed over there. Over the microscope, we put over a camera and visualize through the eyepiece over to our projectors of the entire class. Can you know, have the demo room. I also had my anatomy, you know, university practicals exactly over here. That was the place where the external asked me a lot of questions. My slide was test test, so it was a pretty easy slide to identify. Hello everyone, so we are here in the biochemistry lab. This is by far the you know lab which I have been to the most time because first year was a time where lockdown was not present so we spent literally every single day over here. Uh, but in second year we wanted to spend time in patho, micro etc. But the thing is COVID. <laughs> so we did, we did not do anything in second year. But this was the place that I absolutely love. This is the one lab in GMC Nagpur I could you know stay at every single day and I would not get bored of it. So as you can see these are all the reagents which are kept over here and we basically do the quantitative and qualitative analysis of each of these. Uh, so this is the undergraduate lab here most of the students who are going to be coming in first year are going to be present. And as you can see it is very massive and it accommodates I think around 100 people at once because that's what we did uh, once we were in first year. So the entire A batch of 100 people would come here. Uh, if not 100, it was at least 50. This exact 
thing was my bench so again roll number one so this is my bench and we've got all the reagents over here each station is provided with a gas inlet so that you can do the chemical reactions which are um, requiring heat uh, such as the Benedict's test in which you know you heat up the test tube and then the color of the solution changes this is the place where you know dr rajesh ambulkar sir gave uh, used to give us uh, lectures about biochemistry and he used to teach us about a lot of different stuff uh, that's it about this part it's it's all honestly awesome moving on to the next section we got sulfur powder over here so if anybody can let me know in the comments what sulfur powder is used for what test it elicits I, I, i'll give you a hint it's made from the liver so this is the experimental lab where amphibian practicals will be done and human experiments will be done plus clinical examinations you can see the beds are being provided for clinical examinations that side will be the hematology laboratory where, where you are going to do the practicals related to rbc hemoglobin etc this is the hematology lab you can see that labs are being provided with all the apparatus which will be comfortable for you to perform the practicals related to hemoglobin rbc wbc platelets etc and hope you will enjoy and learn a lot Hello everyone. So this is the hematology lab. Like ma'am told you right now, this is the place where we prick ourselves, and this is the first place where we actually form bonds with friends. We prick each other, and you know, take out the blood and examine it under a microscope. The microscopes are all here, but they are kept in the almari because nobody is attending the college as for now. And this is the place where you do a WBC, RBC, MAT, etc. So when I was, you know, in my university exams, this is the place that I was sitting for, and this is the place I had my hematology practicals because in university examinations you pull up a sheet and the number of the table. which they give you this that was like 18 number or something that was here for me and as you can see in all labs you might have seen a recurring theme window over here so this is because every microscope is here is the light microscope and for light microscope you need light so this is where the light we get it from so all the practicals are going to be in the daytime and this is where we do it actually and that was it for the hematology section and this is the lab where i had my first ever ecg done and that is amazing because physiology can do magic for ecg you have to take out the entire shirt you have to put six leads over on your chest and a lot of them on over your hands and feet as well so this is what happens in first year mbbs one guy will sacrifice his t-shirt and will you know stay half partially nude for the entire bachelor so this was that guy as you can see this is sali's hemoglobinometer and this is the first and most common experiment that will you will do on yourself and maybe half of you will find that you are anemic that's because you did it wrong yes well, you have to dilute your blood using n by 10 hcl and usually you end up diluting it too much and not pricking yourself properly so your hb ends up like 8 9 something like that of course it is not that much it's just because you did the practical wrong um and here we also have the different rbc wbc pipettes which we use for different practicals such as uh, counting of red blood cells or white blood cells or platelets um in the blood slide so that's about it and the stains are also there we are given the jimsa stains and the leshman stains for staining the blood slide yeah please that was the modified newbars chamber and it was it is the one which we use for counting the cells so this is the place that we studied our experimental physiology and in experimental physiology you have to do experiments i don't remember them first year was a very long time ago but basically you check your cardio respiratory system like spirometry and you do a treadmill test you do you know squatting all of that this was the place where we did it brings back a lot of memories This was one of our hangout places in the first year that Anuj will tell you more about. This is the terrace in front of all the labs in second floor, and this is the place we hanged out. This is the place we clicked a lot of photos, and this was honestly a great time. Thank you so much for watching, and huge thanks to the departments of anatomy, physiology, and biochemistry for allowing us to film and also publish it for educational purposes. And I really hope that this video helped you out, giving you a little bit of insights about GMC Nagpur. If you're from the college comment down below. If you're liking this video please give it a thumbs up because it genuinely helps out a lot and also subscribe to the channel because all of this videos take up a long time effort to produce. Thank you so much for watching again. It's your boy Anuj. I'll catch you in the next one.